Yep, they're all kind of clones, those two to two to three pound class fish. Yep. You know, we, we started going down that bank and and uh, you know I had Chris stick with the with the wacky worm, of course, you know, just because it's always good on that stuff, and I figured I'd pick up a crankbait. Uh, picked up a uh, Livingston Dive Master 14 and you know just something that could kind of cover you know a good, a good portion of the depth there and work those rocks good started going down the bank and and caught several fairly quick right as it started to come up off the bottom probably the smallest fish of the day but he'd probably the best <laughs> bite you know <laughs> he hit it with everything he had didn't he that was fun catching some on plastics but uh, they bite it a lot better on a crankbait <laughs> Which bait's that on? On the uh, Livingston Dive Master. Oh yeah. The Fort, the Dive Master 14. So, get him woke up there. Shake it up. The good thing about a crankbait is, is when you're going down a long, long stretch of just riprap. I mean, you got to cover a lot of water. So it's really a bait that that I can make a lot of casts with, and, and literally cover a lot of that water going down that rip riprap. So it makes you really efficient, and uh, you know, it's a good way to you know catch big ones, obviously as well. Right. Crankbait bite. Catching them off yeah. a little deeper, I think, than I'm running yeah, there. Yeah, those are uh, you know, right, right, right here where this wind's really blowing up here. We came around a little bit of a bend in the